In this video, we're going to go through how to change a Siegel Villas concentric uh, carburetor from a 10 to 1 fuel ratio to 25 to 1 fuel ratio. This carburetor is found on the 40 minus 40 featherweight and model 45, 40 plus, model 55, Century 100, and the Century Plus. And it's also found on the following code lettering SJM, F, FS, EF. EFS, LS, SJP, FP, FPC, EFPC, LLS, W, CP, WP, CPC, and WPC. So I've got the book here, and the part we're changing is number 8, which is the needle. So it's fairly straightforward. I've got this carb removed from... This is a Century Plus, it's the Siegel engine that has the clutch. Um, so I've removed it here. So it's it's clamped on. Clamped on here to the engine. Fuel inlets here. And I've already unscrewed the, the top screw. This is just screwed on here. So you unscrew that. That comes up and off. And there's a little top plate. And then you've got the, the slide here. And here's the, the needle. This is the bit we're going to be changing. So it's tapered because it fits into a, um, a part inside the carburetor, which is the centerpiece and jet, that's what it's called. And it's tapered because this, as you move the throttle on here, this slide, which is your throttle, which blocks the sort of the throat of the carburetor. If you can imagine it inside here, it's moving up and down. And because it's tapered, the higher up it comes, the more air and therefore, because it's tapered, it's getting narrower. It uncovers more of the jet, which lets more fuel through. This is the 10 to 1, and you can upgrade this to a 25 to 1 fuel ratio. So basically, you're using less oil. So once we've removed the throttle plate and needle, there's a small screw in the top here. Now that screw is the taper needle adjustment screw. And we'll unwind this, and then we'll be able to remove the needle. So I've just got a small flat blade screwdriver and it's just a case of unscrewing this little screw. Pretty much got it out there. Finish the last by hand. There's a screw out and we can push the needle up and out of the throttle has a spring on it. It is tapered. I don't know if you can see that. So it starts off narrow and it gets wider. And it's as simple as in a in the kit, you'll have a new needle and you literally just replace it, put the new one in, and reassemble. And it's as easy as that for changing to the twenty-five to one ratio. So once you've got your needle, the reassembly it's pretty self-explanatory. The new needle goes in the, the central hole, comes all the way through here. We've got our screw. Now it's got some slots. You see the slot at the, at the, at the bottom there? That goes in first. That goes back in there. And then screw that in. The throttle slide goes in there and then the top cap, which is here, back onto there and you're good to go. It's as easy as that. 